and pears can fuck off too. Because they're gorgeous little beasts, but they're ripe for half an hour. <laughs> and you're never there. They're like a rock or they're mush. <laughs> in a supermarket, people hammering in nails. <laughs> Just put these shelves up, mate, then you can have the pear. <laughs> really? Because you do do that squeezy, squeezy thing on fruit, where you go in and go, oh, squeezy, oh. It's a test squeezy thing that you've seen French chefs do on television. Oh, squeezy. Oh. But I have no frame of reference, so I'm going, oh. Is that good? Uh, <laughs> I'm squeezing about this much. Is that good squeezing? <laughs> it's a, just an expert thing, isn't it? You know, that you see them go, oh, you know, this one. They don't even look at it. They just, you go, Pfft. oh, shit. <laughs> no, it's got a hole in it. I'm not really. <laughs> I'll just put it on the end of a broom. Yeah, it's, a, it's the manager. <laughs> um, yeah, so fuck pears, but. Pears, pears are really, just, you know, like a rock. So you think, I'll take them home and they'll ripen up. But you put them in a bowl at home and they sit there going, no, no, <laughs> don't ripen yet, don't ripen yet. Wait till he goes out of the room. <laughs> ripen now, now, now. <laughs> and you come back in, you go, I'll just have one of the... <laughs> Hey, these pears are dead. These are dead pears, man. Hey, what happened, guys? They're all like... <laughs>